So we're heading over to Rob's and the old XJ. But this is how it goes out in the country. You know, tractors and whatnot. I still wouldn't trade it for anything. It's great out here. Rob loves his truck. Mine's still better. Hi, Mavis. <laughs> she's oh, a yeah. she's a Cadillac. Oh, she so always lays up on my Cadillac up there. Right? Yeah, she was just up there. Yeah. So here's like some that. of Rob's rides, but today I'm going to show you this thing. And some of you guys might not know <clears throat> just how far this thing has come. So we're here we are over at Rob's. Yep. He wants to gloat over all of his No, cool I told stuff him I didn't again. want to go over this, but there he is. Look at his shirt. Yeah, look at my shirt. Yeah. He's I was going to get lots of likes on this one, I heard. Probably. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so we're going to show you his cool 66 Caprice, tell you the story about how he killed off a whole bunch of cars to make this one. Yeah, it's like the Dukes of Hazard. You know, it was like 309 cars that went through to get this one. That's it. So. <laughs> Tell us about this old Caprice. Well, how much time do we have today? Uh, I have <laughs> do we have to do it on battery. a budget? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, this, so this is my first car from 1987. I was in just out of eighth grade. It was about this time of the year, too. Well, it was August. So coming up on the... So how many years would that be, Darren? That's, that's I don't know. three, four. So this is 35 years coming up. So 35 yeah. years I've had this baby. So it was, uh, yeah, so I was 14, 14 and a half or so years old when I got it. $900. And uh, and it looked decent. It was a, do you remember it when it was maroon? I, yeah, barely. Yeah, because by it was the time I knew primer you. Then. Yeah, it was, but I don't it, body still had that maroon color, but it was a lot of it was patched and but yeah, so it was a Madeira maroon originally, and uh, same. In, but the interior was pretty much the way you see it today, so that's why we bought it. My dad and I looked it over, and I wasn't, you know, at 14, I wasn't a car expert, and so he's like, "It looks pretty good." And then we found out it had great Bondo job all over it. Well, your dad and, also uh, has a '66. Yeah, Impala convertible. convertible that he bought brand new. So, so that was the reason that he's like, you know, there's a. One of my students has the 66, uh, or his uncle does, and he's looking to sell it. And so I was familiar with the cars, and, and I always like to caprice the different roof, and the taillights had those little strips of uh, chrome on them. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course, at 14, if he said, you know, you want to buy a Volkswagen uh, thing or, or any, uh, that's kind of a cool car, but, but anything that had wheels, I would have been like, heck yeah. So, so yeah, so I got that. Um, and then with the following year, started tearing into it. So it was six years, uh, nut and bolt restoration on that car. And, and uh, so, yeah, you can, yeah, when you talk about, if I get boring, tell me to speed it up or something. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the, the front fenders were new old stock on a car, like for one year only, and they came off, and I called on a radio, and and uh, they didn't have the radio anymore for the car, but they said, I have a pair of uh, new old stock fenders. I, I mean, been on a car one year, so I had a couple. One had a dent in it pretty good, but we popped it, but absolutely otherwise, rust-free mint still had the black, uh, primer on the inside so those were a hundred dollars a pair now they're like 1500 bucks any day so all crazy. day long to take that off you know <clears throat> and uh so that's so they're they're from chicago and then the hood's original still to the car the valence the front bumper is still original i think the center not the center one of the corners is <laughs> but the lower part's good and then uh doors are from colorado went to, on family vacations in the summer and we'd load up the pop-up camper with these doors and whatever else we could and um, and then what else? Oh, then the cowl was chopped off from here to the floor. So the whole, it was just the roof and the, the floor pan on a truss system that we, that we, uh, kind of welded in place so it wouldn't move it. And so the cowl is all from Texas. And then we turned it into a factory air car since that was, uh, tore off. So that was pretty neat. So now, uh, it used to have the dealer installed. Do you, you probably don't remember that, uh, on no. this car. I think I've told, pulled that off pretty early, but, but yeah, I had a little box and you turned it on. So I had the pump or the compressor and the condenser, but it just didn't have the ports and the dash. And so, so you needed that whole cowl to make that work. So that was neat. It was so rusted that we, it was easier just to chop it off. 
and then it was floor pan patches all the way back. This was replaced from here down, fabricated new um, couple patches in here along the way. And then from here down was all hand. My dad did that with the uh, hammer forms from maple tabletop. So he made, cut it out with a chisel, you know, into the wood and then formed it all in sheet metal. So it's really impressive. Uh, you know, that's before they made any patch. What is wrong with this car? It's so dirty. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, so, you yeah. guys did all the work. You, nothing was sent out. Yeah, nothing. So. No, no. So it was all. So I'm real proud of uh, how these turned out. It's all beautiful. Just, uh, just flat sheet metal when it began, and it just. And we spot welded, put a flange behind it, and spot welded real tight, and then leaded it, so there wouldn't be a seam. And then, uh, so if you felt on the inside, you'd feel like a little ledge going in there, you know. But uh, yeah, and then we had to cut the whole trunk floor out. And this whole back panel right back here and the, and the floor supports are all from a car down in, uh, somewhere in the south. We went to that Shoals Auto Parts up here and they found us one and it was still a mess, but it was better than what I had. I had to pull all the sheet metal off of it and put new reproductions in. And so that's that, the hood, the hood the deck lids from Georgia. Oh, and this panel right here from up to the window, this was all rotted out all the way around the whole window. So you could put your hands through this whole thing. So we fabbed new sheet metal for that and welded it all in. And then this panel, since it, you could kind of cut it off, came from the same car as that cowl did from Texas. So we are able to uh, just, it, but it was cut. He goes, well, I cut into it a little bit from cutting the quarter panels off the car. So we had to fab up a new little piece here. It was no big deal, but so it's still got the seams where they need to be. And uh, so, yeah, so that was pretty cool. We found so many parts from Colorado had these. These are like finding, you know, Oh, there's how they say that rare as hen's teeth or something. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that that was neat. Two bucks a piece found for those, or found those for two bucks, or so, yeah, I think I paid four dollars for the pair. Uh, the door mirror on the other side is a new old, well, it's a original stock mirror. I bought it for two dollars in Idaho. So that was that was so cool. <laughs> so this whole wall was full of mirrors, and I'm like, that's mine right there. And then the guy's like, ah, a couple bucks. So I'm like, I can afford that. So. Uh, I can open up the trunk real quick too, but uh, but yeah, most of the time when these cars are put together, a lot of people lay these floor pans on top of the old and then scab them all in. But this car was totally, uh, you know, all butt welded perfectly. So there's no, nothing that, uh, you know, I even had some 66 uh, chef, full size people check it out and they thought it was still all original, you know, cause they, we even put this little dent right in here for the body mounts, made tooling up so that, cause they didn't come with that with the reproductions, it was flat. So if you put the body mount in, it would actually dent the metal up. So, so we made a little tooling to make it look just like the original. So, so lots and lots of time. So how was, many cars in total did it take to build this one? I, that's a, that's a good question. Yeah, we had a couple parts cars. I had a four door that I bought for 50 bucks along the way. So probably, well, one, one, two, three, four, five, probably six different cars, or many more than that, cars all together for parts. But, but as far as I know, uh, yeah, this whole, like I say, this whole back section was from a car from the South. Never saw that car, it was just something they brought up. And then that Texas car, I didn't know either. Didn't see that one, but I had floor pans I chopped out of my parts car to put in the back and then um, yeah, along the sides. Yeah, yeah, this one too. I, how the, how this one worked? This one was replaced also. Yeah, this side and from here down too. And uh, I remember seeing it when we were in high school, and this thing was yeah, apart, man. Yeah, I like, know. Yeah, I have those pictures. You could walk right up to the back window. You know, it was just the quarter panel sticking out. <laughs> so this was all chopped off the whole back end, gone. And uh, yeah, it was pretty, yeah, when, when I saw the roof and it was just rusted all the way around, I thought it was all over. <laughs> Your dad was like, this is a great car to buy. Yeah, <laughs> but that was what's cool is the interior. Now this is the very, this is all original from 66. The, um, the seat was fixed, you know, where you sat in it, but the, the vinyl's all original. Um, oh, not that side. But the center, all the way around, all the vinyl is still original. And the only reason the inserts had to get replaced is the sun faded them. So, so I, I got new material. But, but the um, the dash pad's still original from '66. Um, you know, the carpet's been changed a couple times after that fire. Then that oh, was yeah. the, the big yeah. deal. Be so. sure to tell them about the fire. Yeah, 
So then, uh, oh, so this, this is a brand new shop or garage, really. He had a little tiny one before. Yeah, it was a three car garage and it just, the roof went the other way and it was real low. So, uh, so yeah, so I just one day the lightning struck my little cupola on the top when I was up north. And uh, so my neighbor called and said, hey, your garage is on fire, man. Fire trucks everywhere. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, what? So come to find out, lightning bolt hit that little wind vane up there and then it started my roof on fire, left a 10 foot hole inside that thing and it all dripped. And of course the caprice was right where it normally is, right there and it just all dripped and it burned holes in my vinyl top. Well, and one, so. I came over here when you were up there, but yeah, you had a lot of parts. Uh, that yes. was interesting. A bunch of parts were stored above this car and it got so hot it melted just the melted. aluminum and yes. aluminum. I'll see if I can find pictures of it. Yeah. But there was molten aluminum just running all down the side of this yeah. car and it everything. Was killer. A lot of it was that pop metal from uh from uh what were what was uh a lot of under dash stuff, you know? So um, yeah, it was like die casting that was just dripping all over the car. Yeah, I remember that side was the worst, it had a big spot. This one had a couple, a couple paint burns and everything, and everything was dripping down. And then, I, oh, that was the, the air conditioning plenums I had, had oil in them. So when they got hot, they just started oozing that black oil out, and that's what got all over the windshield. And so, uh, so with that, I got a new top. So I think this is one of a one car, or one of one that has this is the fourth vinyl top on it, has the fourth engine in it. And uh, yeah, and just had this much. I mean, I'd love to find out if, if there's another Caprice that had this much work done to it. It is probably very unusual because <laughs> yeah. they're not worth that kind of money to do this kind of work to, you know. If it was a 100,000 plus car, you'd say, well, it's worth, a lot of cars are put that, like if you had a 69 Charger, you know, boy, they put that kind of work into those cars because they're worth, you know, yeah. 150 grand or something. But for a 66 Caprice, they they usually, when they see a body this bad, they would have been like, just buy a new body or a new car. Yeah, <laughs> so, but you got all the but, trophies to prove it, which we're not yeah. going to show anybody no. because no, we don't need Rob that. likes to brag. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I could show you my big one. Shut up. <laughs> no one wants to see that. So, no. Yeah, it was the highlight. It's it's an old car now. It doesn't get trophies anymore, but uh, I think that's only because you don't take it anywhere. <laughs> Maybe you have to take it to a show. Everybody's sick of giving you the trophies. <laughs> that's true. It's a small town. So yeah, but here's the old engine bay. It this is still original from uh, from '92 when I did the engine bay, so it's still holding up pretty good. I I touch up the manifolds every couple of years to make them look a little better, but uh, but the paint's still on there from all the black on here is from 1992. So I'm pretty impressed with the, it's just acrylic enamel, it's nothing crazy fancy, but, but yeah, so it's uh, lots and lots of hours. And my late uncle Tom, he died when I was 17 in 1990, and he, one of his last things he was able to do was uh, send those hinges out to uh, a zinc plater for me, because he had a, at his shop, they would send things out to this Cadillac plating all the time. So my dad's like, hey, get those ready, and Uncle Tom can can get those done for you. And then like, like a year later, he passed away from cancer. So, so those are my um, mementos from him, you know? So I always remember that, that part of it. A lot of history so, in this thing. Yeah. So that's why these kind of cars you can't sell, you know, everybody's like, well, what do you think you could get for it? And I'm like, I don't even care. Cause it's like, how do you get rid of something like that? And when somebody else is driving around like, Hey, you know, those hinges on there were from my uncle Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so it means a lot more to me than it would be for anybody else. But so, so. how, how well does your wife like it when you put your wire spoke hubcaps in the dishwasher? Now, though, that is genius. <laughs> She's actually so good that she told me there was a spot open uh, the other day for my Lincoln if I needed it. I'm like, that's sweet. Oh my God. That's why I married her. Speaking of Lincoln, <laughs> let's go show them the Lincoln. Uh, okay. The old Lincoln. And then we'll take a cruise in this old dog. Yeah, so this one I bought in 2017, like October, I think it was. And it was uh, really, uh, it was like one of these greatest uh things that can happen to a car guy so uh, the neighbor right next door um showed me these cars before so he goes you know larry my friend i'm like oh yeah he goes uh he's got a friend that has like 20 cars all low mileage pristine cars you know and and he's like 80 some years old you know and, and he's not doing so well <laughs> so i'm like oh that's too bad i'm like i'm like that's terrible you know he's like yeah he's getting worse and worse and larry doesn't know what to do with these cars he has no family and uh, so I'm like, could I go just look at them? I'm not looking to see, 
you know, to get a deal or anything, but I said, I'd just like to see what he's got. Cause he didn't, my neighbor didn't really know what these cars were, what years or anything. So he took me through a little sneak peek of them and my, like, holy cow. So this was one of them. And I just always remembered this one. So it was probably a year after that, or maybe two years went by and, and old Warren passed away at 85 years old. And so then Larry wanted to uh, get rid of these things. And so, so I'm like, oh, I'd love to have that. That's 1970. So I took pictures of all the vins and and the years of these cars so so i was after this one so we got to go in there and so i was fortunately able to buy seven cars and then my buddy paul bought one a 76 lincoln mark IV. my father-in-law got the uh 78 el dorado with 30,000 original miles so it was really awesome so i got so many people cars out of this collection so so this one's got it had 29,000 original miles on it when i bought it and it's just what, what you see i I always ask, you know, I always wonder what my Caprice looked like when it came rolling off the factory floor and it, and uh, it wouldn't have looked anything like that because it was a different color. But, but I'm like, this car, I can actually say, this is what it looked like when it came off the factory floor. I mean, it's same, this is all original paint, interior, the top, everything's identically what it came with from the factory. There, I don't, yeah, you didn't do anything to nothing, this car. I don't no. think that people re really understand that this yeah. thing yeah. is actually like a brand new car. It's a brand Nothing new car. Nothing has been changed. Yeah, a lot of people that come see it, they say, this would be like a museum piece. And I'm like, yeah, it, it really kind of is. It's uh, The seat belts were still wrapped in plastic when I got it in the back. I had to take yep. the plastic off of them. I, I felt guilty. This. I'm like, maybe I should keep it on. But my kids were the first ones to wear seat belts in 50 years. And the car's 50 year, or it was probably 47 or 8 years old at that time. But so I got the plastic. I can always put them back on to fool somebody. <laughs> so, and everything works. For a yeah, car. everything. I had to change the transmission, though. That would surprise me when I got it. it. I took it in because it was leaking. It had a front seal leak. So I took it to that Frank's in town. And, and uh, he said, you know what? I took it apart. And he goes, it. It really could, while we have it apart, let's just go through it. He goes, a lot of shavings in it. And I'm like, We're for 29,000 miles? So he did it. It's a C6, so, so now it's great. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's an incredible car. It's just, uh, I'd love to say I took the credit for doing all the paint and everything, but <laughs> I didn't do anything. It's the ultimate barn find. Yeah, it really is. It was, it was scuzzy when I got it. It had uh, mildew on the, the interior. They weren't stored real good. They were climate controlled, but... But it was so overly insulated, it had no ventilation in the place. And uh, so it had mildew, it had, it, he left the covers off for a, f a few years, so it was pretty dirty. Um, I did change the wheel covers on it, it has these. Uh, well, this doesn't have a hood pull in it. You no, do yeah, it I can there. open it up this way. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the 460. Yeah, everything you see, I just cleaned everything real good. The insulation still, it's kind of, I'm, I'm going to replace that next. It's kind of driving me crazy having that <laughs> nasty spot on there. Yeah, but, uh, you definitely want to go and get this thing fixed because it really detracts from the car. Does. I don't like it. <laughs> so, so, yeah, and uh, yeah, and I had to put a new uh, washer fluid bottle on too, but that was about it. Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite finds of all time. I just, for the... I don't even want to say how much I paid for it because people would be hating. Yeah, me. we're not going to yeah, say that. Probably not. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, it was ridiculous. It was a once in a lifetime deal. I always say with this, with that collection I got. I was just like, well, except God. for um, when you got that free Corvette in there. I know that's that what we'll I thought. Go it would, talk about. It would never get better than that, and then it did still get better. I'm like, wow. But I, it's been years now. I need something else to come. Oh up. my God! <laughs> so right. I'm on a dry point. So here we go. The the free Corvette. And uh, his Oldsmobile, 55, right? You 56. Said? 56. Yeah. Yep. And that thing's a running driver. Yeah, well, it does run it's and a, drive. It's a running, you can drive it and then die in it. Yeah. Pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Without brakes, it's kind of dangerous. But yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the Oldsmobile is great. I bought that from my uncle. Uh, he had it since 83, and then I bought it maybe five years ago. And it's only got 49,000 miles. I should have taken some junk off it so you can see it. Yeah, we, we but it's really nice. This uh, out. Not a bad body on it, but it does need a, a total restoration to make it right. So I got to pull it off the frame. And and uh, the front end was redone once, and then and then they got away from it from them. And so I'm going to do the rest of it. But people are going to ask about your Jeep. Yeah, the Jeep is. Oh, that's that is the coolest Jeep of all time. So most people aren't even going to know what that is, but. Um, that is a military M170. So that is uh, an ambulance, frontline ambulance for the Korean 
conflict there, but it made it out too late. They got it out in 54, so they sent it to other countries for the Len Lace program. They gave it to state parks and fire departments. So this one landed over in Lincoln, Michigan for the first, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years or something. That's what I heard. And then they went to, uh, they took it to the Glenny Fire Department, or they call it Curtis Township uh, Fire Department. So it's only got registering, I think, 1,400 miles on the odometer. and uh, But the odometer snapped, so somewhere along the line it broke. So I, it can't have much more than that, but it sat outside for five or six years before I got a hold of it, so it really weathered it. But it's uh, one of, this is the 85th one built out of 4,133 or something. So it's really neat. The, the, the tag on it says 10,085, and they started with 10,000. So... I put it on a registry online, an M170 registry, and so it's probably the fifth one down for how the, the oldest one for being such a low number. So it's I always crazy. call it number 85. So Yeah, it's got the, still got the blackout lights on yep. it. Yep, yep, blackout. Please. You can see the numbers underneath the hood still. It says U.S. Army, and I can see the numbers. When you look closely, you can kind of see. Mm. I can stencil those one and replace or, or, or you know, reproduce them when I'm done. Once you get done with your pickup truck, you mean? Yes. Yeah, pickups. Oh, I was going to jump in front and do this one, but... Well, you're not going to... Uh, we can't show them your Scout. No. No, or maybe the... Then, yeah, yeah, we'll keep that down. Maybe another day. So he's got a pretty sweet Scout, and his dad's got a pretty sweet... Yeah, They're my dad's scout the people. ultimate Scout, yeah. Your brother's got a Scout. Yeah, he's got a Scout. Scout people. So yeah, we like the Scouts. What's the story with the... Free... I still can't get yeah, the Corvette. stupid car. Yeah, I know. This is so great. So, uh... Yeah. You should pull it out. Can yeah. you? Yeah, I can. Yeah. This guy's got all the doggone luck, man. You always feel old when you get in and out of these things. <laughs> so the yeah, the, so the story on this one is one of my buddies told me that this uh this this guy he worked with his uh fiance was looking to get this car cleared out of her garage and it was a rental house that they were trying to sell that they were renting out and so they had this garage full of uh these cars and they just didn't have any time for it so they wanted to and so he, he tells me hey just lowball i said well what do they got and so well 87 corvette a 72 formula firebird and a car rotisserie bunch of tools you can even have the oh, fridge no they light said in here. yeah they said, you can even have the fridge uh, with the beer in it. <laughs> so I'm um, like, I said, well, I don't know what to offer. He goes, make them a low ball. And I'm like, I don't even, I'm like, how's the car run? I don't know. So I said, I don't know. I just looked at the pictures they gave me. I said, how about five grand? So they said, yeah, we'll take it. So I'm like, oh, shoot, maybe this stuff is all junk. Maybe I just made a big mistake, you know. And, and uh, so I went and uh, looked it all over, and yeah, yeah it's, it's what you see. So the car didn't have keys, so I didn't even know if it ran, but they said, oh, no, it did. It just lost the keys. So I had a locksmith come in, and within just a, a little while, he had it. I mean, he turned that key, and it was just like it is now. You just It just fires right up. and So it's got, it had 96,000 miles on it, and uh, it came with all new, it had a box, and it had all the new seals. It had $800 in receipts of all the new seals and parts. <laughs> so I'm like, man, had brand new tires on it when I got it. And you haven't touched so, it either. No, like, not really. I just buffed <laughs> it out a little bit and uh, yeah, cleaned it up, put those seals on. So yeah. So that's the part that, you know, somebody might think that thing was ragged out and it was in bad shape, but yeah. it wasn't. It was a, it's a yeah. really nice car. It's a really nice car, yeah. Yeah, the, it was repainted, I can tell, but they did a nice job on the paint. So explain yeah. how you got it for free. Oh yeah, so then, so then that 72 Firebird had a brand new uh, rebuilt, I mean, not brand new, but rebuilt engine transmission. Uh, the drive line was good, but the body was pretty, it was sandblasted, but it had holes everywhere and it was like lace, you know, and so it was kind of, you know, the body was shot, but it had good components. So I sold all that Firebird stuff off and some of the tools that I had repeats of, I didn't need all the tools. And so I, whatever I sold off, I think I got I think it worked out to 5,500. So I so I made 500 bucks on the deal and got a Corvette. <laughs> it's crazy. So, and so you got the pretty, rotisserie and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I got the rotisserie. So that thing's just alone. That was pretty cool. So yeah. So I can't complain. It's been running great ever since. They even gave me a. It's got a brand new interior uh, carpeting kit for it, but it's a lighter shade. It's a. It's a. 
like a light gray instead of this graphite gray. So I'm kind of torn if I want to put that in and have dark seats with the light interior. So I'd rather find the original style. Such color. hard decisions it for is. a free no. car. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to see this one, there's another video of Rob's awesome stuff. <laughs> Where's the other one? With the oh, I, I have that at another old lady's house <laughs> in the garage. I couldn't Rob. fit it in here. <laughs> Jesus. I have to outsource. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? Rob's got so many cool cars, he's storing them all over the place. But he's got one else you can Look at there's watch a cord him. on the hood. You didn't see this. Oh, no. I better get that off there. <laughs> it must have been the People can. will think that you're living in the ghetto or something. <laughs> So yeah, this one's the this is the nineteen thousand mile car. This is like a brand new. That's even better than my Lincoln for condition wise. It's amazing. It's just all the chrome is perfect. The interior it even smells brand new. Can you smell through the camera? I don't, I don't know. know. We'll get them in there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's security system. It smells so, like a Cadillac. Yeah, like like bingo cards. <laughs> yeah, this is nineteen eighty five. So this brings you brings me right back to nineteen eighty five. And it's just a, a wee little fellow. I don't know how the video will come out in here. It's so dark. Yeah, it might be. Rough, but man, but... look at all that, <laughs> all that wood grain. <laughs> yeah, I think I can see that the video is getting a little. It's too dark in there for this yeah. crappy camera. But it's sweet. And then he's got another one. You can watch. I'll put a card up, and you guys can check out some of his other ones. That, that one's got like a stainless steel. Yeah, that's the Baritz, the Baritz uh, Eldorado. So it has stainless steel steel top and all the bells and whistles and gadgets and. So yeah, I had one guy, I had this for sale for a little while thinking about selling it and he was pretty serious about buying it, but then he found out it wasn't a real convertible and I'm like, I, I yeah. said on there it was a faux top, you know, yeah, like, that's, that's not a real deal. I don't know if anybody has ever seen <laughs> yeah. these, maybe, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have, but check yeah. it out, that's, it's not convertible, they yeah. just molded it to look it's, like that. It's a lot of work just to make it look like one, but yeah, it's got the snaps and everything, so it does, but what, what always can tell you that there's not a convertible is when you see a stainless molding, <laughs> it's like, yeah. how is that supposed to fold? So, but it's still cool. I mean, yeah. you know, it's... Yeah, they made the ribs look like they're in there, and it's pretty funny. I don't know how well you guys can see it on the video because it's kind of dark in here, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's, that's the Eldo. The Eldo. L-Dog, as they call them, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this thing is, is, a, is a total machine. It is. And yeah, when you, can... you look at this and you're like, that thing's a beautiful vehicle. So classic, so timeless. It is. And then you there's can... like this scrap metal. Like, yeah, well, I, I don't know. Of, but look at all the weight you have in scrap metal. <laughs> <laughs> That's so you true. really get, yeah. get some money out of this thing. Now, now I understand. Metal. Yeah, see, you got to go for the heavy, heavy Chevys or Lincolns, whatever you got. Yeah. Well, we're gonna take see the old cut, our winks. cutlass. We're gonna take the Caprice out for a cruise and take a little ride in that. Here we go, everybody. Rob flexing on how much money he's got. He's looking at lumber. Yeah, whatever. He just moved that over there. <laughs> but he ain't gonna buy from this scrap pile. No, no, I'm too big a deal. Can't hide money, folks. Can't hide money. I've been hiding it for years. So how does it feel how does it feel to be rich? Oh it's nice. Isn't it? Oh look at look at this. Give me cart. 70% off and thinking this is gonna be like fifty bucks a board. Fifty bucks a board, you heard it here folks. Crazy. I just got light switches because I'm poor. Unlike Mr. Lincoln Mark III over here. It's something. All right, so let's go for a cruise. I helped Mr. Mr. Rob put in this sweet custom stereo. Yeah, it goes from the top down. Oh, top. Yeah, Which one? Just like this oh, one. That. Yeah, so we he made this all up out of like the factory unit. What is it called? Yeah, they call it a multi, or something? It's a multiplex, so it would turn the AM FM into a stereo. So then you'd have the fader and the volume switch down here instead of the here anymore. So now you could run four speakers. Nice. So he made up all the like little brackets because the newer stereos are, I think I showed you in the XJ, they're super, super skinny. So he made up this thing. We connected up his amp in the back behind the seat and everything. So now it sounds pretty good. It's got like a 10 inch sub. Yeah, pretty cool. sweet. Yeah. And it's warm in here. And it's air conditioned. Yes. I'll put that on. I don't like that dusty hood. I think we're gonna have to stop for a wash break. God. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about with my steering. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's just empty on fluid. It could be, but it, I don't know. I, I always keep checking it. Yeah, the... Uh... Wow. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. 
I mean, maybe it's just... I could be low. I haven't checked in a while, but it never leaks. Maybe it's just time. Yeah. It's, it's an old car, I guess. I mean, what? how long have those parts been? I mean, those aren't new parts. No, I think they're original to the car, so... So... 50-some years old and 61,000 miles, I guess. So it's getting there. Seems pretty legit that they would need to be replaced. Yeah. But she has a sweet old car. I'm a... Believe it or not, this guy has offered to let me take this car out before, but, you know, <laughs> when someone has put so much time and effort into it, yeah. it's, it just becomes terrifying to even be plus, behind the wheel. Plus, I think I was drinking heavily at the time. <laughs> You'd have to have been. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a 66 Caprice. 327. Yeah. 275 horses. It's got the turbo fire. It's, it's pretty nice. Out. So, I don't know if you guys ever seen these cars. I figured I'd take you for a tour. Uh, I don't have anything nearly as nice as this, obviously. Oh, it's the cops. Here's the cop. <laughs> Good thing I didn't do a whole shot. Yeah, I was going to say, I figured you'd get on it for the camera, but i um, <laughs> glad we didn't. I'm glad we weren't in my truck. Yeah, you then it would have been bad shape. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, for, you know, for being right. original interior, basically, all this stuff, like he was saying, is all original yeah, stuff. Yeah, even the headliner, like so you don't see original headliners look like that. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. So I, I always tell people that was the selling point because if I went off of the, how the body looked, it'd be like, what are you, crazy? Yeah. So like, but the, like I said, the Bondo was, they did the Bondo work pretty darn good on this thing. <laughs> so it even faked this out pretty good. But, but nowadays, we learned a lot from this car because now, whenever I buy something, I get on my back and I'm underneath that thing picking at the floor pans. Oh, yeah. If I would have done that with this car, I would have seen it right away. It's like, look at this mess. So. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, so, need a golf cart? Huh, golf cart? <laughs> no, golf cart. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and this thing is, is such a nice ride. It's a smooth. It's funny, I used to think this was like the smoothest riding car, and, you know, they float, everybody would ride in it, like, this thing just floats. You know, and I'm like, it does. So you got and the Lincoln. You got the Lincoln. And I'm like, holy cow, there is something. <laughs> and you can just feel. That, now this car feels like it's a, a, like a feather uh, featherweight, you know, I, it's, it's so light that when you go down the road, I, it's just like, it feels so nimble and so tiny. Or not tiny, but just light. Right. Because it is a 3,600 pound car, which is in today's world is pretty light. Yeah, it's I think my, tr my truck on the scale was 38. Was it? Yeah. yeah. And those which, are light because they don't have all the safety in them. So, which I don't really understand. I, I think that my truck was on that scale before and it weighed 34. Really? Yeah, so I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it had more gas in it. Yeah, it might have been low on <laughs> gas, but I don't think so. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to judge those weights, too, but yeah, they're probably ripping you off with a scrap. Is this, a, you got a little iPod on it now? Yeah, yeah. It'll, oh, sweet. It'll actually work. No, that's all right, because it'll get, you know, yeah. copyright strike. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so that yeah, so when I get in my Lincoln now, the Continental there, it's like that thing feels so heavy and uh, it's by no means slow or anything. It's pretty. It's, it probably might be just as fast as this. I don't know, but the difference between a big block and small blocks are funny. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Oh, there's that. Where's that Corvette? It's been sitting here forever. Yes, the side pipes. There used to be a a Cuda, '73 Cuda sitting over there. I wonder Remember if we still got 440 that? Cuda, I think. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I thought you guys might like to see Rob's cool little cars. Yeah, uh, it's been a, looking. It's yeah. been a super busy week, so I didn't get a chance to do anything. So this is, I figured Hopefully this would be cool. Hopefully we don't the crowds. You, know, you never like, know. You never know. They're going to be just mad that you got all this good luck. <laughs> yeah. All right. But anyways. Well, I have other bad things that happened, you know. Yeah. 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 He, like, uh, I ran over a, a squirrel one time. <laughs> no, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> That's right. Whatever. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more about Rob's cool stuff like the Scout or any of the million other things that he's got, he's got some sweet stuff. Let us know in the comments. Be sure to say hi to Rob. Yes, yeah, nice to see everybody. He's on Instagram. Yeah. Rob, what is it, Rob yeah, Newman? Robert, Robert Newman72. Yeah, so go check him out on Instagram. You can see some of his cool stuff. I'm also on Instagram. Check that out. And uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, I'll see you guys.